Uh, Are you considering replacing Dan Coates as your director of national intelligence? Uh, I haven't even thought about it. I did. Well, I spoke with uh, this morning with Prime Minister Abe. Had a long conversation with him. We talked about the trip next week to Vietnam, which would be, I think, very successful. I think the first trip to Singapore was extremely successful. Uh, we'll be meeting with Chairman Kim for two days, and I think we'll accomplish a lot. We started off with a very good meeting, and I think we'll continue that along. I don't think this will be the last meeting by any chance, but I, I do think that uh, the relationship is very strong. When we started, as you know, there were a lot of problems. There was the missiles going all over. There were hostages that were being held. There were remains that we wanted to get back. There were many, many things. Now, uh, there's no nuclear testing, no missiles going up, and we have a good relationship, very good relationship, I'd say. So, uh, I spoke with uh, Prime Minister Abe of Japan about that, and uh, we compared notes. And I think we are very much on the same wavelength. It was a good meeting, good, good conversation. No, I don't think they're reluctant. I think they want to do something, but I, I you know, you've been uh, talking about this for 80 years. They've been talking about this for many, many years, and no administration has uh, done anything. They've gotten taken to the cleaners, and I think we have a really meaningful relationship. We'll see what happens. The sanctions are on in full. As you know, I haven't taken sanctions off. I'd love to be able to, but in order to do that, we have to do something that's meaningful on the other side. But Chairman Kim and I have a very good relationship. I wouldn't be surprised to see something work out. Uh, I really believe that as an economic power, because of its location in between, I mean, you look on a map and you see Russia, China, and right in the middle of everything is South Korea, but North Korea right smack in the middle. So you have Russia, China, and then South Korea, and this is right in the middle. A tremendous potential for economic well-being long-term, and I think he understands that very well. I think he might understand that better than anybody. So they have a great, great potential as a country, and I think that's what they're looking to do. We'll see. But uh, we've made a lot of progress. We've made a tremendous amount. That doesn't mean this is going to be the last meeting, because I don't believe it will. But we have uh, subjects to discuss which will be very fruitful, I believe.